in this video I'm gonna show you how to connect a lot of IC4017 together to make an LED chaser with 80 channels. This is my circuit. It seems to be complex, but actually it's simple. To make it easier to understand how this circuit works, let's take only 3 ICs. Each IC can drive 10 LEDs only. We have a clock pulse generator that connected to pin number 14. The lighting LED moves one step by any single clock pulse. To cascade several ICs together, there are many different ways. In this method, I connect the clock input of all ICs together to the same clock pulse generator. Then I'm using pin number 13 to enable only one IC each time. To enable this IC, the pin number 13 must be connected to the ground. So just imagine that we have a rotary selector switch that enable only one IC each time sequentially. By this method, we can cascade infinite number of ICs together. Instead of using this rotary selector switch, we have to use this automatic circuit. I'm using the last channel from each IC as a feedback to know at which time the selector switch must be rotated. I convert this circuit to PCB and order it from PCBWay.com. After about 10 days, I received my package. Then I soldered the components on the PCB. And finally, as you can see, the circuit working well. You can adjust the speed by using this potentiometer. The last thing that I want to talk about in this video is the difference between this circuit and the old one. A few years ago, I made this LED chaser with 81 channels, but as you can see here, it only has 3 ICs. So why I have to make it again with 14 ICs? The reason for that because the LEDs in the old circuit has no common ground. But in this new design, the cathode pin of all LEDs connected together at the same point. The common ground is very important in some situations. For example, when you want to connect your LED chaser to a relay module, you need a common ground. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.